Are you guys ready to get rich in WoW Dragonflight? Today we are going to learn how to get rich in WoW Dragonflight the lazy way. So yeah, let's find out how. I made 167k gold in less than 26 minutes per day lazy what? farming. So today let's check That's out this new lot. series of lazy gold farming where I am going to be exploring the ins and outs on how to make gold each and every day putting little to no effort in. So that being said, let us begin. The general purpose for this is to literally do this in the most minimal amount of time possible in order to extract the most amount okay. of gold value and then gain regular sales and regular gold each and every day. This is a composite of different types of gold farms that take little to no time and it doesn't go alongside the conventional way of gold per hour. This is more on the lines of like 17 to all the way over to like a few seconds of a gold farm in order to actually gain a load of gold. So That's that being insane. said, I grabbed eight of my alts. Yes, I am using alts. You can use this solo, but this will take you a little bit longer in order to do, though Okay, so we need eight alts. Okay, I have that. I have more than 10 actually. Do I need to be over level 60 or like maybe level 70? Then I just have like maybe four or five. But let's that see. being said, this is the basic setup and every single week we'll be going over all of this. For my druid, I sent her all the way over to Vashir and what she'll be actually swimming What's around there? and doing each and every day is the Reigns of Poseidus mount. This is a 100% drop chance from the boss Poseidus who actually spawns within the Abyssal Depths and the Shimmering oh, Expanse. A long, uh, spawn that gives timer, me a right? five spawn locations in order to get a hold of this mount and this takes roughly around about three minutes upon my testing throughout the given last six days. I managed to receive one mount as this is still heavily farmed however i was able to get a hold of one of these mounts which has not sold as of yet but has given me uh. a decent gold value because of this the next one is the sealed tome of the lost legion the lost legion oh. gold farm requires a warlock holy shit this, this reminds me like i was farming this on like every single one of my warlocks like the next one i must do this on is my dark iron dwarf warlock that i'm trying to max now like, I have a couple of Warlocks on the Horde and the Alliance side, and I don't know why I have multiple Warlocks. I'm, I guess, a weird person. This is the same with Hunters. Like, there are two classes I have multiple times that I leveled up, and that's multiple Hunters and multiple Warlocks. Are those like my... Oh, oh, and I have two uh, Druids, I forgot. Holy shit, yeah, it's for me Warlock, Hunter, and <laughs> Druids that I have multiple times. Every other class I have just once. But yeah, um... I remember farming this. I was actually pretty pissed because each time I seem to go for this, except for on one character, I always had so much competition and there were like other players camping the spawns. And one character I got it very fast because I could kill like four in, in a row and one had it. But on the other one, it took me like, like an hour almost to get two kills or something. It was like it was so heavily farmed. So that that's being said, expensive. I sent my warlock all the way over to is that the Isle of Thunder. Gold or something? Yep, Isle of Thunder, of course. What he'll be actually doing is running around and killing any of the rares each and every day, which days? takes roughly around about seven minutes in order to do. The Seal Tome of Lost Legion actually gains quite a lot of gold, and I generally How love much? this gold farm as it has provided me with so much reliable gold each and every day. It's still part of my reliable gold farms lists the majority of the time. That being said, the Seal Tome of Lost Legion has a two percent chance of dropping from any of the rares and you can also get the sunblade micro defender battle pets alongside this from one of the rares on the island i was able to gain one seal term of lost legion How and was able to sell you? that within the week that being said we then what, what did i say earlier ha i was correct Twenty thousand gold here you see he sells it for twenty three thousand gold how do i know it because i actually considered buying it and this was did the price go slightly up actually like when I was trying to say this is like half a year ago or so, it was like around, I, I saw like people offering like 21k gold or something. So now it's like 23k gold. I'm not sure on which uh, server this guy is, but he clearly sounds like he's from the UK. So he's definitely from EU. And uh, I think that's actually good. If you have like two warlocks, for example, and you happen to get this uh, twice a day, that's already like 40k plus gold, right? 
sell that within That's actually a week. Good. That being said, we then go over to my next ult, which was the Gar Night Howl. The Gar Night Howl was sent over with my Death Knight, That's and she has been cheap. camping That's this cheap. every it's single not, you day. Can buy it this very has easy. a 16 minute respawn timer, give or take a couple of minutes, and I was able to gain around about six of these as the rare elite yeah, but is it's always not expensive. up. Karosh has a 100% drop chance, and this melt yeah, sells just incredibly thousand. fast. That being said, I managed to gain six of these and then sold three of these, and I currently have three you know why this sells so fast because everyone that is either new or moves to the hot side and plays an orc like i constantly see people that play orcs either mecha or regular orcs they they want this mount for some reason it's very popular amongst uh orc players on my bag this takes maybe about for the about aesthetics one minute in order fences, to do yeah, and then send it over or post it to the auction house and log back out the next one is the longest of all of the gold farms and that is the battered hilt farm i sent my rogue over there because i love my rogue and i set the pit of sauron over towards the heroic mode and then this took me around about 17 minutes in order to do and throughout okay. six days of gold farming for 17 minutes i was able to get one battered How much hilt, is it which worth? started off at a rough average of 125k which Holy is now dropped down to around shit. about 88k gold but at the end of the day battered hill reliable gold farm everyone's talked about it and it gains a good gold value because of this no, that's the next worth one it. was my null one at the moment and this is the timeless isles where i sent my mage this takes roughly around about five uh, minutes to again, check yeah? all of the rare elite spawn points and what you're going to be wanting to do is get a hold of the timeless rare battle pets these can drop from pretty much uh... multiple of these rares and i was able to actually get gather all of this up in a relatively short manner however i did not get any battle pets so let's null this and then jump over to the next they one have a which jump is chance. the nagrand's rare gold farm now the nagrand's rare gold farm took me 40 seconds in order to clear with camping with my shaman and i was able to get two of the mana fiend battle pets which can sell on the auction house for a decent amount of gold How and much? other than that has not sold as of yet but me doing this farm throughout the years i know that the you know what's interesting from this video so far? I've noticed that this is mostly about killing bosses and rares and selling that stuff. Uh, I'm actually very dumb, I've just noticed, because I sometimes don't even sell stuff that I get at the auction house. I sometimes... <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't tell you this. You're going to laugh at me. I actually... No, I can't say this. I actually destroy items sometimes like that. <laughs> no okay no not mounts but like freaking battle pets and stuff like i'm actually so dumb when it comes to freaking battle pets because i always thought when i have them already full they're like freaking worthless and i just destroyed them i had no clue that like some blue pets are actually worth anything <laughs> i kept destroying them and stuff Oh, I sold them to my freaking uh, merchant from this 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 mount the Grand Yak, right? Ah, oh, shit! I will never in my life again destroy a pet or freaking sell it to a normal merchant. Uh, I'm so stupid. I know. like I I know you guys are going to leave some maybe nasty comments. How stupid! <laughs> I, I swear, I really did that. Like, I freaking destroyed pets and stuff in the past. I'm so dumb, I know. These battle pets sell, and therefore I will keep doing this I've for 40 my seconds. I've learned this time. And it was roughly around about 7k gold for 40 seconds each and every day. That being said, the Tadan's rare one is the one that I did on my warrior, and I actually managed to get three of mount. these Crush and Thrusher toys from the Tanan rares within the Tanan jungle. I actually managed to sell one of these for around about 10k, which is around about 9,000 something odd gold. And that being said, I have another two in my bags, and this took me around about 50 50 seconds in order to do the next one is the blasted rares and the last one on our list and blasted that is running rares. around and killing all of the rare elites within the blasted lands this gives us little quest items that you can give it over to one of the npcs within the zone however i was actually selling the quest items in fact on the auction house this takes me around about four minutes what does this give do, you and actually I got multiple of these and sold multiple yeah, but what of do them they give well. you that being said that was the setup of the beginning of this new series done a complete what spreadsheet does this quest in order with. for anyone to look over which is currently on the patreon and also worth it has been updated so the looting lag when farming dungeons has actually been done up for pretty much everyone so that's interesting but uh there was a list he showed let's have a quick look so what do we have here 
lazy goat farming so so he counts every single minute and how many days he does that and how often he actually gets something from it like here he just got this mount once see a tome it took him seven minutes uh, six days right uh, that's probably like minutes per day right i think and he only gained it once so he like parks maybe some characters there locks in or something but if you can get like three of those a week, that's already good because you get you're gonna have like 60k gold extra, right? And if you like still farm like notes and stuff, like what I always thought was like the best way to make gold is like to just max your profession and sell either crafted items or raw materials and stuff. Like that's what I would have done to make like lots of gold. But this method, I have not tried it yet. I will consider doing this at least a couple of times so I can get like some more uh, gold. It would be nice. Because I kind of like need gold, there's still stuff I want to buy and stuff. It will definitely help my alts also. And uh, yeah, those not grunt rares. I have to have a look at those. She's currently on the Patreon and also worth it has been updated. So the looting lag when farming dungeons has actually been done up for pretty much everyone. So please feel free to jump over towards worth it for the update as this will help you with gathering up gold farm loot very, very fast. That being said, our total time was 26 minutes and 10 seconds in total for each and every day of farming for over those six days. And the total value, which I've currently got on the auction house is 127k the total gold we've That's received good. throughout the six days is 40k liquid gold that we've got in our bags right now can and do this overall all day. total for everything is 167k gold farmed in 26 minutes and 10 seconds per day for the yeah. last six days lucky, this is though. very good in order to make some reliable gold and we're going to be expanding this in a new series of lazy gold farming alongside that i am looking forward to in order to doing this and hopefully you you guys can follow along and make some lazy gold other than that guys have a wonderful rest of the day and i shall see you, you too. in the next video which will be soon fascinating like i didn't know you can make that much cash actually with freaking toys and, and battle pets like i said i kept destroying them if i had no clue they they worth anything like i was not informed about this like i know mounts are very precious especially those you can sell like even those that are like more common you can still get like five or ten k gold or something right or like gone a night how like he's sold for cheap but still like if you can make like 900 to 1k gold out of a mount like why not it's not much but you can still keep in your inventory until you get to an auction house right um but that's actually fast gold I, I i can actually like i should really try this method and get like even more rich and i like some actually some cool mounts i actually wanted to buy in the auction house but i i don't want to buy it because i don't have so much gold and i like some crafted items that would help like some of my characters especially alts but yeah that's actually cool that's like a lot of gold I like this method. I will definitely try it. What do you guys think about uh, Dala GG's uh, method? That reminds me. I have to give this video a thumbs up. This was very informative. And yeah, let's get rich in freaking WoW Dragonflight, guys. If you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. And have you tried this yet to freaking camp rares and just get their drops and sell it? Let me know about your experience in the comment section. I have not tried it yet, but I will. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. I will see you guys next time.